do 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 I got my degree for stats um, on the online courses of the University of Phoenix. We've been working on multiple projects for a course of three years and Jove, our intern, has, who's just started, is helping us out with those. Jove, you're late. Oh, sorry, I was... Hi, my name is Jove. Um, I graduated from Alverno College. Um, I'm an intern here at the Status Factory, and I'm just helping Kyle out with a couple of studies. Have you finished those graphs I asked for? Yeah, they're right here. That was quick. I expected less of you. <laughs> what is this? Well, it's the data you asked for. Um, did you even account for bias? Well, of course I did. How did you even collect this data? Well, you see, I asked my fave baristas down at the local Starbucks if... Um, yeah, you left out a lot of the population. You didn't even account for undercoverage. What is the sample size? Well, they were short staffed that day, so like... Two? What? Whatever, I'll fix it. What about the survey on cheese? Oh, I, I collected the data already. Alright, how'd that go? Pretty well, I got a hundred people to respond. Alright, out of how many? Three thousand? Joe, do you know how big of a bias that creates in our study? Do you know what non-response bias is? Yeah, it's like, um... Did you read the manual? It says right here, Non-response bias occurs when responses are not obtained from all individuals selected for inclusion of the sample. But, like, I got a hundred people to respond. Did you study statistics in the school? Oh, yeah. yeah. What did you go to school for? Art history. Fine, whatever. Just go and get the data for the breakfast and blueberry studies. Oh, I don't watch my potatoes anyway. Just... doing now? He's not even eliminating the voluntary response by it. God! This ain't the first time I seen Joe screw up on the job. Just the other day we were down at the vending machines and he had his feet up on the table and he was just texting away. God. You have one final chance to redeem yourself for the tomfoolery that you have committed today. Clancy told me about your little stunt in the road. Voluntary response bias. Have you heard of it? No. You only collected data from people who wanted to talk to you. You didn't even randomize it. Well, I have something that'll lift your spirits. Um, I have the data for the blueberry experiment. I collected it last night at the Beach Boys reunion concert. And how did that go? Mm, pretty well, I, I think. I just was in the... Uh, that, that, that's for me. Um. You know, I, I just took a bullhorn and I uh, shouted to the audience, and they all kind of just responded at once. I mean, I think I got like 40 people to respond. Did your mother let you suck on batteries as a child? How'd you know? This explains so much. So you realized that you didn't account for the response bias? Oh, I, I totally knew that, because... You know. No, you didn't. In the manual, it says response bias is when your method of observation tends to produce values that differ from the true value in some way. I don't think he knows what bias is. I don't know what bias is. Everybody at that concert responded because they wanted to be a part of your study. Why are you being so glib? What? Is it just me or does it seem like Kyle's having a rough day? Clancy, what is this bias that 
Kyle keeps talking about. Take a seat, Dove, and I'll tell you what bias is all about. Now, bias is when you have a sample that does not properly represent the population you're trying to represent, if you get what I mean. And when you have bias, like you do, your results are going to be tainted. So, what I suggest <clears throat> is that you just take a little bit of this, drink a little bit of that water, all right? Give me your results. But, but my no. results are tainted because I have them right here. Give me your results. But those are Kyle's going to be angry. Joe. But Clancy oh. got that. Joe, just take a little bit of that water there, all right? Uh, Day at the office. Clancy uh, found Jove in the break room with a calculator in his hand and a mysterious drink spilled on his top. Maybe in his next life he'll eliminate all the bias by creating a simple random sample.